Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be going back to the Forza 5 career. It's been a very, very long time since I've done any of the single player racing. I haven't done much of it, to be honest. Um, yeah, because I want to see how the driver tiles have changed. I want to see if they've got better uh, over time. Like when, when, you, when I first played this, the driver tiles were pretty kamikaze at the best of times. However, if the driver, I don't know how the system works, but if it was taking data from people who have just started playing the game and not really got used to the game, then there are going to be more mistakes and more silliness. So I'm wondering if they've got better since then. So yeah, I'm going to have a look at the the single player career. I'm not going to be using this radical because it's I'm terrible with it basically at the moment. Um, yeah, it's been a little while since I've driven on here. We're going to go for middle grand touring. I've not done this class before, and uh, oh yeah, we'll the, we'll let the top gear. Top Gear introduction thing, play as well. At the turn of the century, Le Mans wasn't just a race you visited to watch Audi repeatedly walk off with the big trophy. It was a race you visited to watch harder, nastier GT versions of fast road cars kicking great lumps out of each other's bodywork. Here then we have some of the finest production cars born of the racetrack. Cars like the Dodge Viper GTS ACR, a car so violent it makes the normal 8-litre V10-powered Viper look timid. Cars like the 360 Challenge Stradale, which packed Ferrari's GT racing know-how into a car you could drive to the shops, as long as you didn't mind arriving at the shops with blood gushing from your ears. Many of these cars should never have been allowed on the public road. They were designed to race and be warned. They do not suffer fools gladly. Tread carefully and pack fresh undergarments. Well, I think I know what I'm going to be driving. Um, this is random vehicles I have in my garage at the moment. As much as I love the Viper, <laughs> I'm not going to use the Viper because I want to go racing and I also do rather quite like the 360 Challenge. And I don't have one yet, so we're going to buy this one. Um, actually, no, we're not, because we're going to go buy it ourselves rather than buy it from Forza, who wants to go and upgrade it. I remember what I'm doing with the single-player thing. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to be going these in A-Class as well. So we've got a little bit of upgrades, and the only downside to choosing the uh, Ferrari is that I have a, a slight lack of upgrades. Whoopsie, I've skipped Ferrari here somewhere. What does it start off as? Yeah, I don't have too much room for upgrades, but I'm hoping this car is as good to drive. Uh, can I just skip? I don't care. Ooh, we're going to have all the colours, and there's really only two to choose from. You can't... <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a blue Ferrari. Nah, it's, it's got to be a red Ferrari. Um, 170,000. Yeah, a little bit of money, but solid. I, this car is amazing. It was amazing in Forza 4, and I am hoping it's amazing here. Fingers crossed. Please be good, Ferrari. We are going to have to go for racing tyres, of course. First thing I always do with these cars is you you really need the racing tyres if you're going to be driving it seriously, especially on a game like this where there is a general lack of grip. So, yeah, they're the first thing. Please have enough PI. Please have enough PI to let me put racing tyres on you. Please, thank you. Yes, that's going on there. We're going to want all of the tyre width and this. God, we're going to fill up all of the PI. They're pretty big tyres as well at the back. Uh, we're going to fill up all of the PI with just tyres. But that's fine. That's absolutely fine by me. Okay. We're also going to want... Uh, do I want a wing on it? I don't really want a wing on it, to be honest. No, I don't want a wing on it. It looks stupid. So no wing is just going to have to be good enough. Brakes. Uh, it comes with the highest grade race brakes, which is not really surprising. Weight reduction, we drop, yeah, we'll put that on there as well. Then we want some power, probably. Can we get it? We're not going to get very much more power out of it, just looking at the PI. What have we got? Uh, we might get some. The problem I find with this game, I don't know if it still does it, I know it used to. I'm just picking random power things, I'm not doing this in any particular reason. Um, the problem that I found with this is when when you race against the driver tires, the game likes to upgrade the cars so that they're all speed cars. Which is... Uh, <laughs> it makes things rather hard for me to build a car to race them, especially when they don't really give you enough... I don't, can't do any... Uh, can I do a drive line thing? I might be able to sneak it. I can't sneak it. Um, Alright, yes, that'll do. I'm happy with that car. Yeah, when, when the game gives the... The driver tires cars have got a lot more straight line speed and doesn't really give me enough laps to do much about it. 
kind of a little bit irritating. I know this car is not going to be very fast in a straight line. I know this is going to struggle a bit because the way I've built it and the fact that it's not the fastest car in a straight line. Standard, really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my my Corvette that is standard has got 7.1 speed. This has got 7.2. And I'm going to be struggling on the longer tracks. We'll see, though. We'll see how it goes. Also, I have no idea how the drive... We may well end up being broken in the first corner by a kamikaze driver tire again. I mean, that's entirely possible. Who knows? My voice is just completely given up there. Hold on a second. <coughs> God damn it. It's always the way. The minute you start recording and your voice decided, no, we're not going to work. You don't need that. Um, we're also on the full Yas Marina circuit, I've just realised. With two very, very long... Oh, this is going to be a tough race. Top three is all All I need to get the gold gold medal, is it, on here? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, let's, let's aim for that. Maybe, oh, no, we the... Is that the full... Yeah, it is the full circuit. I, the, I thought there was a longer straight, second straight. doesn't matter. Never mind. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Please work. What are we? What are we racing against? What is going to destroy me in a straight line? Probably everything. Is that a Lotus Esprit in front of me? It is. Okay. Here we go. How does it fare? Acceleration-wise, not. There, there we go. Now everything's faster than me. <laughs> it's not that bad off the line. That everything else is quicker. Okay. Uh, oops. I'm racing my. Oh, I know. I was, <laughs> I'm racing myself. <laughs> when I did this uh, career playthrough the first time, I never put my Fair Race account on the uh, Xbox One. So now I'm actually seeing myself. I I'm racing my own driver tar. You should be doing better, goddammit. Admittedly, I've only done like two races with that account. But never mind. It should still be doing better. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Well, now we're going to go onto this back straight. This air car is quite nice to drive for A-Class. I'm used to having terribly oversteery nonsense things. Did that Ferrari 355 just get up like three places in one corner? Well done. Sorry. Minor bump the Corvette. Don't worry. You'll overtake me by the time we get halfway down the straight. Oh. <laughs> and there he goes. Bye-bye. Get the little god. There's a Ferrari behind me catching rather quickly. Oh, God knows. How are they all so fast? And break. Can I break? I probably broke later, to be honest. I've got rid. Ow! That's partly my fault, but more your fault. Okay, driver tar. Ooh, that's a bit far on its side. <laughs> driver tars are. Could go away. Thank you. Uh, driver tars are still pretty scary to drive with. Um, although, as I said, I did break a tad early. Uh, the car's pretty good. It's not quite as scary, Larry, oversteeriness, and I'm completely. I was trying to be brave, okay? I was trying to... For God's sake. Let's start this one again. I have not driven this track in this car, in this class of car for a long time. Have I driven A-class cars here? I might have done in the single player. I tend to stick to the lower class cars just because you have more fun racing with them than you do with these. So, yeah, there's, there is more speed. And here, I'll get the hang of it. Maybe by the end of today. Right. Remember to brake for corner. Okay? That's, that's my... <laughs> That's my advice on this one. Right, I can overtake myself, hopefully, by the by the end of this first corner, because why are you on the brakes, moron? Come on, driver tire, you can do better. Get past that Mercedes. Fine, I'll go around the outside of the lot of view, almost. We've run out of road. Not quite. Ah, no! Slow down, you. There we go. Thank you. Ooh, crap. <laughs> yeah. Okay, because I have so much grip through the corners, I do kind of scare myself on the back of AI cars. Let's... Come on. And then I've got no accelerate. I can't do anything with it. No, come back, you silly Mercedes. We're going to go for a bit of a lunge. Uh, that's a bit ambitious. Ow. Uh, my car was there, goddammit. Um, <laughs> driver tires will still pick on you, it seems. Uh, is there going to be... No, there's not going to be a crash, which is always good. And now all of the cars I have just worked to overtake will be back past by the time we reach the end of the straight. No, Mercedes. I'm going to go to the... No, fine, you're, you're going to go there, are you? Yeah, you're, you're gone. What's next? Ferrari, do you want to go past as well? Uh, yeah, I might need more straight line speed. Uh, okay, uh, we'll get... Whoa! Oi! You cheeky bugger. Well, there's... No, the driver's... <laughs> that driver's all wanted me dead. God damn it. Um, well, that's not how you defend, okay? People watching, you don't defend like that because you just have a crash. And now I've lost all hope of getting anywhere higher up. The Lotus is going to go past in a straight line. Really? 
How is everything so much faster? No, the Lotus is going to try to kill me. Ah! Okay, Lotus is gone. It's fine. I've survived the... <laughs> I've survived the onslaught. Oh, God. Uh, now it's me. Don't kill me, okay? Behave yourself back there, Lotus. I can see you. Please. I must run away and try and get past some more. Oh, God. It's always a scary moment. They're going three wide. I'm trying to get involved. We're four wide. I'm off the track a little bit. It's fine. Can I squeeze back on here? Jesus, there's still three wide up here. Holy crap. I'm going up the inside of this bit. I'll take one of you or two of you and... Oh, Corvette, accelerate. God damn it. I know you've got speed. I know the Mercedes has got speed. So use some... Ooh. Okay, it's kind of scary, but the things are going on. Uh, woo, Mercedes is just... Ah! So I can't be bothered to keep restarting. Yes, I'm going to cheat and use the Bloomin' Rewind, because uh, I can't be bothered to go through all of that again. Right, let's be a little bit cautious, and I'm sure the Mercedes... Woo, okay. Yeah, I'm... I'm knowing this. Tra I'm learning this track again. It's been a while, okay? <laughs> right, and power and Mercedes is wobbling over the road. I've got a much better drive. Wait for it. Vroom! There it goes. <laughs> Can I get into third? That's all I'm asking. We're just going to swap sides. And thank you. Come on. Come on, Ferrari. Use the better traction. I don't know where the Merc is. Still on the outside. Is the Mercedes going to be brave? No, he's not. He's going to back out of it. I'm glad he did because I didn't know where he was and was taking that line anyway. Um, okay, I can see two cars at the front that are probably not going to be catchable. If this group here can remain... Something... What on earth is that? that look, oh, it's a TVR. That would explain why it was off the track. And we've got a couple of... No, we've got a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, and an Aston Martin to worry about. Now, I'm right on the back of the Ferrari. Watch them all disappear. I've made a fairly good gap back to that Merc. The Mercedes might not catch me by the uh, by the end of the show. It might still catch me. So, as far as the driver tars are going, still pretty chaotic. Uh, I'm not sure if they're better or, or about the same. Still as chaotic as it ever was. You might be sitting there watching, saying, well, why on earth would you want the driver tar system if all they do is crash into you? The thing is, with this game, is it's exciting. Playing the single player is exciting. Yes, the driver tars will inevitably bump into you. Bugger off. Go away. No, I don't... I uh, can't really do much. Okay, no, you're just going to break. That's fine. No, that's that's worked as well. Um, oh, God. I've got to remember to break for this corner earlier. Um, yeah, the, the driver tars may bump into you from time to time and be a little bit annoying. However, they make things exciting. They make the races entertaining. And... Trust me, it sounds weird, but you will miss them when you play another racing game. When you try and play single player in another racing game, you will miss the craziness of AI cars trying to go three wide and through a corner in front of you. It's, it's very hard to explain. We're now all being held up by a TVR, and there's an Aston Martin on the inside. They're bumping in front of me. Oh, I don't want to be here. Um, um, can I just hide? Can we go around the outside of the Ferrari? Oh, no, not quite. <laughs> See, this is what's excellent about the driver tires. They do make it exciting. There are times when you can have a genuinely fantastic race. The Ferrari's given up trying to go around the outside there. Uh, the, the Mercedes is blooming coming with us as well. No, I wanted to pull a gap. Oh, we're around the outside of the Lamborghini. Come on, Ferrari. You can do it. Oh, we've actually got more speed. Very briefly. Oh, no, that was only two. Really? That was only two laps? I thought I had another one to go. Oh, I got the Lamborghini on the final corner. Woohoo! Um... However, I didn't quite get the position I wanted. Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll take the silver medal. You see, that's, the, the driver tars do make it exciting. They do make it interesting. They make it different. It's not a repetitive thing doing the single player races. They will annoy you. I can guarantee you they will annoy you at some point. But there's something always going on. That was a good fun race, actually. <laughs> God, one more lap and I could have had the TVR. Or the Mercedes might have got me. I'm not sure which way around it would have gone, but it would have been interesting to find out. Never mind. We shall carry on. We shall have another go. I'm liking this Ferrari, actually. It's really not that bad to drive. Normally, your car's on here. Oh, you normally, uh, your rear-wheel drive supercars are a bit twitchy. But uh, because this has not got too much power, it's pretty good through the corners. And I've got the big tyres on it and race tyres and stuff. Yeah, I, I'm liking the 360 Challenge already. This is going to be an interesting track. <laughs> the Alps track is one that you really requires a car with a lot of grip to enjoy this track, I think. You want a lot of downforce. You want a really planted car to, to enjoy the Alps. The 
problem is you don't really get that very much in Forza 5 anymore. Just the plantedness of the vehicles isn't the same. Which is going to make this interesting. However, this is a chase event. And I don't know what that means. Do I... I think this is where I try to overtake a car and there's traffic. If I read the title screen correctly. Yes, I did read the title screen. No, I remembered. That's what happened. I remembered what happens in video games. Sure. Uh, so we've got some Scions to navigate. And I'm racing another Ferrari. Oopsie, we've got a little bit of understeer going on. Okay, never mind. I can deal with that. Right, Mr. Ferrari. I am coming to get you. What do we do on this? Did it just... Okay, well, a two-lap race. Dodging AIs. And uh, try and overtake the Ferrari in front of me. Uh, we've done the first bit. Required, almost. No, he's still on the inside. Ooh, you cheeky bugger. Well done, though. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, it might not be as easy as I had thought. Are we? Okay, we're on the shorter version. Oh, God, I hate this corner. Ooh, Scion. Eee, we're fine. We're not, in, we're not nearly in the boot of a Scion. Uh, ooh, we're going to go around the outside of all of you. We can stop understeering. Where is the Ferrari? Good. We've got to stay on the inside here. That corner there off the straight. If you race this track in multiplayer races, yeah, you often, have, you often see crashes there on that corner. Because whenever you have a track that kind of splits off from the normal version, I can guarantee you that somebody will forget. Whenever I do a versus the community, I have to remind people two or three times before we start a race on a shortened layout of a track that we're on the shortened layout so they don't forget and go flying into the first or second or whatever corner number it is that splits off from the normal track. I've just gone into the back of a Scion because I wasn't paying full attention. Bugger it. Where is the Ferrari as well? He was right behind me at some point. He's still there. He's, we're not really dropping him. Okay, let's quickly run away and uh, try and weave through the traffic. Ooh, get stopped, get stopped. This is a really nice A-Class car. This is a really nice A-Class car. Um, I wouldn't say I'm surprised because I know how good this car was on Forza 4. But uh, yeah, this is much... I have a Ferrari... Is it a 430... Oh, is it a 430 Scuderia I have? Ooh! May not have quite judged that correctly. Oh, don't overtake each other. God damn it, you have one job. Just go around slowly. Don't be passing people on corners. That, that's not nice. I had a Ferrari 430 Scuderia that was um, not easy to drive, shall we say, despite my best efforts of putting uh, upgrades on it. I don't know if I had race tire, I can't remember. I don't know. It's been so long since I've done the single player stuff of this game. And we were going over here now. We're not really turning that corner very well. The apex was somewhere. I don't really quite know where. Yeah, let's be stupid and go around the outside of you. And can we get up the inside? No, you're going to go cover the inside, are you? Thank you very much for that. I do think we've lost sight of the uh, other 360, though. In fact, I can't even see it anymore. I'm looking at the little mini-map. Yeah, okay, we should be pretty safe here if we don't do anything dumb on this final corner. Go around all of you. Oop, may have changed down a gear where we didn't really need to. And, yeah. Woo! We can take a, a victory. There's much more like it from... <laughs> from my driving. Please go to... Where, where would we like to go to next? Road Atlanta? No, not Road Atlanta. Maybe Road Atlanta short. I know that track quite well. Road Atlanta long and these things get mullered in a straight line. Uh, Bathurst? Bathurst would be quite nice. Again, I may well get mullered in a straight line. Uh, what other tracks? I don't really know. I like one of the shortened Road America tracks. I've never been a big fan of Road America. The, the main track. It's sort of too much straight line speed for me. I, I, I've said many times I prefer a track that's short. Uh, sort of has like a minute, minute and a half laps and uh, sort of medium speed. That's why I love Iberian. Um, Road America is just not my sort of track. I do like the shortened versions of it though on here. There's, I can't remember what they're called. There's, a, there's one shortened version that's just like a rectangle. Not that one, it's the other one. That, um, uh, it's the one I drove around with the Mercedes is in the review that I did. Silverstone, yeah, I'll take Silverstone. Not my favourite of tracks. Uh, not, I don't. I prefer the old layouts of Silverstone to the new layout of Silverstone, but it's not my. It's not my least favourite. It's not as bad as the Bugatti circuit. That's just a track I can never drive. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just a track that I am generally terrible at. So yeah, I'll, I'll take Silverstone. Will my car struggle here? It might a little bit. Again, this is a bit of a longer track. Uh, sod it. Let's, let's hope. Can we have three laps, please, instead of two? So I actually have time to try and get through the field. Race through a field of competition customised to your car. Okay, we're going to be in a field of Ferraris then. Of all of which are going to be faster than mine in a straight line. Uh, that's just the way it goes on here. Um, oh, it's not even just restricted to like the, the Grand Touring class that I was in. It's going to be all of the... Oh, God, there's an F40. Ah, there's all of the Ferraris. Oh, yeah, maybe in a little bit of trouble. What um, is, is my driver tar... 
in here. Oh, Daniel's here. Hello, Daniel. In your... No. Fine. Everything be quicker than me accelerating. Um, I wonder if that's... Yeah, that's my... My driver tower likes blue cars, it, is, it seems. It appears... I almost said appears and it seems at the same time. And was my, I'm making up words as per normal, really. Up the inside of the F40. May have got a little bump from something. I'm not really sure where, though. The controller vibrated. Either that or I just clattered a curb. Nope, the California's gone very wide. And I'm going to follow it. And bro, I've already done my idea. Daniel's right behind me. There's a car on my inside. Bugger, didn't realise that was there. We'll stay on the outside. Speed! Come on! Slipstream! We got much better drive than the 430. I think you're a 430. No, you're a 360. I don't know. I was trying to guess from the little side of it. Can we go up there? Oh, bugger. Don't do that. Jesus. Uh, my driver tar, my other driver tar, is doing quite well. It's up into eighth. That's a good start from you. Oh, I've only got two bloody laps again. Uh, around the outside. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to put power down. There we go. Nothing up the inside. And it'll probably be past, though, by the time we get to the next corner. Because it's all along straight. Yeah, this car, I'm really surprised how nice this thing is to drive, knowing what Forza is like. It is so easy to put the power down in this car. I've been stupid and taken too much speed. Why did I think I could break? Never mind, we're going around the outside. <laughs> 40, slightly illegal overtake. Sod it, that California is really flying behind me as well. Don't know whether the F40 is. Please don't be on the inside, thank you. You're not. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of an illegal overtake there from me. I don't even know why I thought I could get away. Uh, I do know why, actually. Last car I drove here was a LaFerrari. That's a little bit different to this. Oh, my driver tire. Get off the grass, you moron. How are you still going quicker than me in a straight line? You were on the grass and you still almost outdragged me. In a, that's how little straight line speed I have. Ha, I better brakes, though. Uh, in fact, I even braked too early then, I think. Okay. Up into eighth. Seventh, eighth. Yes, I couldn't. I'd count. Honest. Maybe. I don't know anymore. I give up. Uh, <laughs> The field's actually quite still still quite compact. Sometimes you get an AI that just decides, yes, I'm going to go bananas and just fly away from the entire field and you will never, ever catch me. Oh, God, don't be slow through here. <laughs> we'll go, yeah, sure, that's an overtaking manoeuvre that I didn't expect to be pulling. <laughs> never mind. Are we still on the outside of him? Yes, we are. Oops, sorry. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, there's never going to be enough space there. I don't know why I thought I could do that. And would did it break break okay, so the car we got to try and get is that 360 with a big wing. Or the California that's no, okay, we can get the California Oh Christ. Um oh. <laughs> Jeez, no, just leave me alone. All of the chaos is unfolding. Okay, so we've got to get the 355. The California is having a whoopsie moment again. That gold California has now killed the 360 behind me. Okay, I've got a bit of breathing space. I've just got to focus on the 355 in front of me. Don't think I've not, not got time to get to first in this. Like if you drive cleanly and you drive on a high enough difficulty, you shouldn't be able to get from where do you start in here? Fourteenth to first in two laps. If you can do that, the AI is too easy. And the problem is, two laps is not enough time to fight through a field of cars that should be fairly evenly matched. The 355 has had a big, almost had a big moment. Now I've got to break more than I do in the LaFerrari here. Break some more. There we go. Now get turned in. We can go around the outside on the exit if I'm feeling brave. I am feeling brave. I've not got enough speed, though. However, can I make the AI bluff? Or can I make it panic? Oh, I can't quite. I can't quite. There's a big curb there. That's another thing to be aware of. I've done a weird thing to the back of that Ferrari as well. I've made a hole. What is going on there? I don't know. Oh, come on. No. No. Come on. If 360. There's a California that's on the grass as well. Oh god, oh, I'm too far back again. I want another- can we have another lap? Can I petition to have more laps added to single player races, please? As three laps really is not enough. Two laps, sorry, is not enough to make your way through this pack. I've run wide. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be quick through these final corners. It's gonna be a, a dive on the final turn. I can just sense it. Uh, okay, they're gonna have a bump. Come on, go up. Somebody run wide. Somebody have an accident in front of me. Yes! Crash into each other. We've got a big slide. Oh, throwing it away because I was too keen. Ah! Oh, no. I don't think I could have... Uh, uh, if I hadn't got that big slide, I might have done it. But I don't know. There's another good race, actually. Apart from being... Apart from cars trying to kill me at one point. It was... A, it, <laughs> it was an exciting race. That's what I do like about the Forza 5 single player. 
is is never a dull race on here with the with the driver tars. It never is a dull race. Okay, I I've got two fourths and a first. Not my most successful racing, but it was pretty pretty damn good fun. Hey, I'm driver level 99. I've got some more monies, which is uh, which is uh, most of your income on here comes from the driver level leveling up than it, more more than it does from the actual races. Anyway, I'm going to uh, to leave that leave that there. Uh, the driver tars are I think they're improved a little bit since I last uh, last raced against them a couple of months ago. They are still pretty kamikaze for a lot of the time. But it does make things exciting. Trust me, if you swap from this game, like when I went to play Gran Turismo 6 from having played this, the AIs are so dull on every other game compared to this one. It's, yeah. They will annoy you, don't get me wrong. They'll be very annoying from some, some from, sod it, I don't care anymore. <laughs> yeah, they they will crash into you, but not not all the time. They are definitely getting better. So, yeah, the single player is still pretty damn exciting. Anyway, that is it for today, so thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye. I'm going to go need and repair this car, because it looks quite battered from that race.